Hey y'all, Michelle with Crafty Servings. Thought I'd come on tonight, seeing I couldn't come on this afternoon and do a live. I wonder why. Do y'all know Facebook was down? It's sort of hard. I think we all live with that. So we gotta figure out the other things. I have a email list that I had started, so I'll get a link out to that one of these days. Um, We'll get some more on there just in case what if it would go away i've posted about that before how would you find me and don't you want to watch this so make sure you say hi let me know you're out there hello paula hello brenda hey rita so we're doing an apple craft tonight so i don't know did anybody do an apple apple craft during that fall at the farm I don't know if anybody did. I didn't see every one of them yet. I'm gonna. I'm watching replays, but um, that's why I decided to come out and do a quick one. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Terry. Hey, Artis and Mary Ann. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is my this is my Apple inspiration. Isn't that pretty fabric? So this fabric is from Joann's. All right. So we're using that. We're using an apple. Now, these are from the Dollar Tree. Do you know those, like you get acorn, it's got like that L shape in between and it holds them like this and you would see it like this and you could put something in between. That's where these apples are from. Mr. Crafty Servings broke it apart for me. You can see the back of it, <laughs> we, but we're not gonna see the back of it. Uh, we're only, And we're only gonna use one of them. So um, that's where these apples are from. So that's what we're gonna use. Hi, Christine. Thank you, it's good to see you too. Hi, Kathy, I'm doing well, how are you? Thank you, Susan, for passing me on, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're all on. I said, I, Mondays are my day to go live. I usually do two lives during the day and you know what I did? I cleaned, well, I cleaned out a little bit of craft stuff. It, it would take me a month of cleaning craft stuff to get organized. And I cleaned a, about a little bit of a closet. I did that. And I went and got some stuff for my mom um, to help organize for her room. Thanks, Kathy. Hello, Loretta. All right. Now, I also have these houses you get at Hobby Lobby. Okay. You can get houses. I saw actually saw Target. They have like a three-pack of houses. So I don't know if any were this big. We also have like the white, um, let's see, if I have one up there, where is it? We have a white one somewhere. <laughs> from, here it is. You can get a two pack of these from Magnolia if you want a link for that. Well, this I did on a live, okay? And this door, this cute little door, um, was from Jennifer at She's Crafty USA. I got that from her. So, but otherwise, you can get these white. I didn't paint this at all. You can get this through Magnolia. It's a two pack. Um, so, if you want a link, private message me. I'll get you a link for that. So, um, but so you can get that. And that's, it's a little bit bigger, but it would work awesome for that too. All right. Just put that aside and we're going to go ahead. So, these are $3.99 in the wood pile section at Hobby Lobby. Not too bad. I feel like you're all crooked. Should we straighten you out? Hi, Kathy. Sounds very productive. It actually was Elaine. But like I said, I think I need a whole day not at work and a whole day not crafting like a Facebook down. Um, I need a whole month of those days. And I, I'd be good to go. How many of you feel like that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this traced out. We're Mod Podging with fabric. That's one of my favorite things to Mod Podge with is fabric. So this again was from Joann's and we're just gonna get that cut out first. And then we're gonna do a little decorating with it, a little painting. You wanna see, let me show you the colors of paint I'm using too. We're using paint and that's the color I'm using, um, or I'm using this color, so deep burgundy. We might have to add a little black to it, I'm not sure. I do have black here, and I have sour apple, because sour apple is just gonna be cute with it. Um, 
and I have some ribbon that'll go really cute with this sour apple. Oh yeah, Facebook was having big time headache today. I wonder why. Like I said, I, I'm going to get a post out there again with um, my email list. So I know a lot of you, well, there's some of you on my email list, but I don't really send out emails. I'm going to have to start trying because I can let you know where I go. Um, the other thing is you could send me a text and I can do it by text. If you send a text to this number and I did post it above, um, you want to screenshot that. So if you send a text this number, just say hi or join or something, I can let you know when I go live. If something like this happens to you too, I can always let you know. I mean, I don't know what happens if it goes away. We don't know. So then I can let you all know where I am because I don't want to go away. I Mod Podge fabric over a book. Didn't think it would work, but oh gosh. Fabric is my favorite because it, it, it's so forgiving. All right, so I'm just taking a mat. I'm going to take a smaller magic marker, I think. Um, it's so forgiving. It, it doesn't wrinkle on there. It, it gets the wrinkles out. Okay, I just want to, I'm not sure I'm going to see this. We're going to try. Otherwise, I might have to get up and get my, I never thought of it, I could get my pencil for that I use for sewing. Oh, I see that pretty good. I think I need a little more up here. On the black, it's harder to see, but we'll see if we can get that. That's actually pretty good. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I can see it. Oh, you can see some of it. That worked. So I'm going to cut on the inside of that um, because I'm, I want some of the apple to show. If you trace on the back of the fabric, you can see it better. Just a tip. That's a good idea, idea Arlene. <laughs> That's a really good idea. The, you know, the only reason why I think I'm used to doing it this way is because I want to cut on the inside of that line and I know that it's going to lay on this apple the right way. Otherwise, I have to figure it out, make sure that I do it. <laughs> if I do it this way, yeah, well, I could do it. I just would have to think harder. And at this time of night, I don't think that hard. Thanks, Kim. Yeah, and that's what I actually would have got the white chalk. I've, I've got white wax markers that I use for a fabric all the time for sewing that are right over there because I have to finish the costumes by the end of next week. I have to. All right, so I'm going to cut a little bit to the inside of that line. And that way we're going to see a little bit of that apple. We're going to see a little bit of that cute... Um, Let's see, I didn't decide. I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the green. I might do the red on it. Okay, I have to see the stem. It's a little difficult up on this black. And anyhow, that stem is going to be covered some. in from this way just so I can try and I think I'm gonna have to lay this back on here I should take your tip hi Patty I just want to see where it's coming up okay I see it now and honestly I'm not that concerned about this top part because that'll be covered up with decoration All right, so the good tip is that somebody gave is to do it on the back. I'm not thinking that hard tonight, so you could have done that. It's just in this area that it's predominantly got the black plaid on it. Okay, now we can... Hi, Sue. Oh, the fabric, also the fabric on your table. Oh, thank you. Green pumpkins, yes, and 
green apples and red apples. I just thought this would be a fun fabric for apple. And we might have to trim it a little bit more. We'll just see, like I said, I want to see some of the apple underneath. And I gotta trim this little corner here because I know it's not a corner like that. Thanks, Elizabeth. All right, y'all keep commenting. Um, I will be sending out a uh, random act of kindness gift at the end again, so keep on commenting. It's actually a calendar that Julia, one of my followers, sent me a batch of calendars to be able to use. This is the calendar. It'll be the random act of kindness drawing at the end, so keep your commenting. I'll scroll names and pick a name, and we'll get you that happy mail. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. I think I have to do a little bit with the stem here yet. And honestly, I said I don't think we're gonna see the stem, but we're gonna just trim it just a little bit. I'm just making this one up. It's it's sort of what I have in my head. We'll see how cute it is when it's done. Okay, that's gonna be the apple. Just a little trim here. I'm gonna end up trimming too much in a place. Okay. Thanks, Debbie. I just saw Apple when I saw this. I thought it'd be cute. All right, so now we're gonna just do a little painting and I don't have my newspaper out. Just to paint this up, actually, I probably need a couple. All right, and I'm just trying to picture, do I think I want I'm gonna do green on the apple. Do we have a newbie on here? Oh, Lori, this would be perfect for you then. This sounds like sort of runny. I might have to do two coats. Let's just get um, a little better brush. It might go on better. Sometimes the brush makes a difference in in your coat it it really does sometimes a better brush makes a difference but it's also the paint too this is sour apple by americana by deco art okay and i'm gonna do this whole i even the top i'm gonna do the whole thing in this sour apple green it sounds weird with that but i think it'll i think it'll be sort of cute because it'll match with the ribbon that i'm using on here Okay, we're gonna do it all the way around the outside. Like I said, this was this apple was from the Dollar Tree. It was one of those where two of them are together and they have that L-shaped wood in between that holds them up like a little napkin holder. Uh, we just broke that apart. I couldn't break it apart. <laughs> My husband broke it apart. I was afraid I would break it and I think he wasn't scared of that. <laughs> he thought if it broke, it broke. These would be really cute to do the same thing and do it as garland. That'd be really, really cute. Hi, Anna. Where you where you find that? Okay, Elizabeth, I was just saying, I got it from the Dollar Tree. It was one of those, and I'm just getting off the edges there. It's one of those that, it's it's like a napkin stand where you have two apples and you have that L-shaped wood in between. You can see the back of it. It's We broke it off of, broke it off of that L-shape. So we're just gonna give this a good coat. I honestly, I wouldn't have to do the middle. I don't know why I'm doing the middle. Of course, I forgot my hair dryer. And my heat gun. All right, that'll be a good coat for that. We'll just set that aside. Hopefully that'll be dry by the time we wanna Mod Podge. You really wouldn't have to do the whole thing. You could have just done around the middle. I wasn't thinking. I mean, an apple acorn garland. Oh, that sounds cute. Thank you, Glenda. All right, so for this, let's 
get that up there. I'm going to paint the house part this red, which I think sort of matches the red in the fabric. So this is deep burgundy. I might have to add a little black to it. We'll see. I want it to be pretty similar to that. Yes, Marcy, you're gonna have to make a trip there. Did y'all see the scarecrow I made yesterday? The acorn turned into a hat. I thought that turned out really, really cute. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. I think when I put it on here, I might need two coats, but pretty good. All right, let's do another before show up. Again, I'm going to just do this part. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the outside here in black. Yeah, welcome to the newbies. Thank you for welcoming them, Teresa. Project just the cutest. Aw, thank you, Kathy. All right, so I'm going to try and be a little bit careful along here. Honestly, I should have gotten, you know what? I think I have to add just a little bit of black to it. I think it's a little bit red. We're going to just add a little dot. Just one little dot to darken that up. And we'll stir it in. Just need a, <laughs> that's pretty dark. We're gonna add some more red to it. I need extra anyhow. That's what happens when you add black. You have to make sure you have plenty of your color first. There, that'll darken up really nice. There we go. Okay, that's I think gonna go on really good. I said, I'm just making this up and I want it to be sort of the same color. I love the garland. Oh, thank you. I made that on a live. Doing my job, picking my colors and paints. Yeah, Teresa, honestly, to pick the colors, a lot of times you're just finding inspiration. Oh, I like that color a lot better. See the difference when I added the black in there? Um, that's a lot closer to this too. So we just had to add that little bit in. Um, I'm going to do the sides here too. And just up to the brim. Oh, I love this color now. It's almost like a dark cherry or like a dark plum color. But just adding that little bit of black really made a difference. That's a beautiful color. I'm missing seeing Cash when you come on. Well, I know, and he was going to be on. He was all ready to come on with me when I sent out that notice that I was going live. Um, it was, I think, early this afternoon. I hadn't known Facebook was down because I had to run and get a few things. Um, and I noticed, though, that I couldn't get on. I thought it was just because I wasn't here, and I thought, well, that was odd. I restarted my phone multiple times because I had no idea and I get home and it still wasn't working. And then I heard the big news. All right, and I really think this also is only gonna take one coat because it's a, such a dark, rich color. I think it's gonna go really pretty. On very even. Oh gosh, love it, love it. Yeah, Sandra, I, I totally love this color. It is such a big difference, just adding that little bit of black. I'm just gonna be very careful, I'll try and get this long here. I really think I'm gonna have to get my hair dryer out or my heat gun, whatever I have closest. And I'm not gonna need much in the middle because that, I really am not gonna need any in the middle because that's where the apple's gonna go. I hope I have enough here. I'm getting really down to the nitty gritty here of my paint. So I'm hoping I have enough. I think I do. 
I don't think I can mix that color again. <laughs> It'll be good. Oh yeah, that'll cover. Okay, that that is pretty. That's pretty color. And it's all gone. Okay. Thank you. Show how fast the little life can be on hold we will go create right sandra just with that down i said i got stuff done <laughs> sad to say i got stuff done that i haven't i should have done a long time ago but i've got a lot more to do all right now i'm just going to use the black so that was deco art um and it was deep burgundy and I added just a touch of black to it to get it this deeper color. And now we're going to paint this house. Let me just get one more brush. We're gonna do the roof now. I'm just gonna try and be very careful and get right up on this edge. I found the ornaments like the ones you did at Magnolia Black at Michael's. Oh, awesome, Marcy. So there's a little ridge here that I'm just, I don't have any light back behind me. So just trying to get that in there and I'm gonna get a little bit down here. There's some extra red in there I see. Okay. And I'm gonna get this edge here. Just trying to be very careful so I don't get much down now the tip of a painting when you're painting with black and then you're painting with another color right next to it i always do the black last or the darker color last because that'll cover up on top of your other color but it's really hard to cover a black it would take multiple coats so if your black got down onto there um it, it's harder to cover so start with your red or whatever color you use and then do this over it and you can hopefully even it out. Okay, so isn't this gonna, this is gonna look so much like that fabric. Oh, you have some rain. Today was a cloudy day here too. A little bit of rain, but not too bad, but just cloudy. It's getting cooler. Um, it was highs in the 60s today, which is still good for October here, I think. Okay, make sure we get all the edges. All right. Now, honestly, if I had some of that red left, I would probably do the um, chimney in it, but I don't. So chimney is going to be black. Yeah, it'll look like a little schoolhouse. You know, I have to thank y'all because I was trying to read back. And I can tell you, um, I was trying to read back. I said I always try and read back comments and I try and respond. We are so limited what we can respond to. I think yesterday I responded to maybe 100 comments and Facebook blocked me from responding at any more. It said I was spamming. And all I was doing was thanking people that already commented on my post. So I apologize that I don't get back to y'all. But I appreciate all of you out there that, you know, are answering people as they ask questions and stuff. Um, a lot of you have been with me for a while. So um, you know a lot of what I do. And um, I just appreciate that you do that because you're so limited. I could go back and answer some, uh, comment some more today. But... I knew I would get blocked if I did too many again. So I just read a lot. I can't always comment. So it did say, if you don't agree with this decision, let us know why. So I did respond why, but I've done that before too. And it really doesn't get you anything. <laughs> I think it's just a generic question. 
crazy how the live Facebook one. I know, right? I mean, you guys are commenting to me. I feel like I should be able to respect you and comment back as much as I possibly can. I mean, mind you, there were a thousand some comments yesterday, and obviously I can't answer all that. Um, but I should be able to answer as much as I can. But you play by their rules. It is what it is. All right, isn't that cute? I can hold, I'll hold it like this. I don't want to get on my fingers. Okay. I think that's all the painting we have to do. You know, Facebook always did do that. I mean, I've always had that problem. So it's not like it's just that it started. It It's always been that problem. So, you know, don't feel bad when people don't comment to you, back to you. Um, it's It honestly is it controls a lot of what we do. And I mean, it's their playground. We played it by their rules, but um, it does control a lot. Okay, so I think that, that green on here is gonna look really, really cute. Okay, we're just gonna get the Mod Podge. Thank you, Dee, I appreciate it. Sonia, thanks for passing me on, I appreciate it. All right, I get comments coming up there. So stick on again. Um, we'll do the random act of kindness drawing again. It's for this calendar. Is this the 2020? This was a 2021. So mind you, it's 21. But look at the cute pages on there. Really, really cute things you can make. So um, Julia, again, one of the followers that I have, sent me a stack of calendars that I could bless people with. So just appreciate that. All right, and when you're Mod Podging with fabric, you can use a generous amount of Mod Podge. You don't have to worry about it bubbling or anything like that, like you do with paper. Um, I'm in love with the iron method of paper, but if I had Mod Podge paper with like this, doing with it wet like this, I'm not so good at that. <laughs> fabric, give it to me any day. All right. Yeah, artist. I think it'll be cute just with the decoration I'm putting on. Do you have any background in art or design? I don't. Mm -mm. I've crafted all my life. I can remember crafting when I was younger and when I lived at home. And I think I started like with sewing. Um, so I just always like doing that. My grandma, my mom, um, my grandma did amazing beaded ornaments. I think I showed you guys last year. I mean, if there's new people on here, I'll do it again this year. Um, a lot of the homemade ornaments that are on my tree, my grandma made or my mom made. Um, I've made some. Okay, so you just press it down good. I don't put Mod Podge on top. I make sure there's enough under it and it soaks it up. It's like a glue. If anything, I'll spray it with a clear acrylic sealer after. But I really, I, I don't really want the texture of the Mod Podge on top. Um, you certainly can do that, and it does dry clear, but there's still a texture. All right, we got that. I think I'm going to get away without doing the hair dryer, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. All right, let me just get my hair dryer out here. My decorations are gonna go down. Got my buttons out just in case. Yeah, I don't have my peak on here. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, I like those green apples there. All right, let me just see if I can punch this in. This is really, really loud. I apologize in advance. It's my broken hair dryer that I broke because I dropped it on a live. Hi, Sherry. Thank you. All right, we're just going to dry this up. I know it's so loud. I have any new calendars here in Canada. We'd love to get one. Well, make sure you keep commenting. Maybe we'll be scrolling your name. Yep, Ava, you got to love the buttons. This, the color green that I used was green apple. Um, no, sour apple. 
It was Sour Apple by Deco Art by Americana. <laughs> That's all right, Jerry. I didn't even notice the typo. Hi, Vicky. Thanks, Lisa. I think that green is just cute with a pop of color. And like I said, you'll see what I mean when I um, get my ribbon out. Hello, Grace. I have a magnolia heat gun. It's in the other room. <laughs> I didn't even think of getting anything out to heat. I do have it, and I love how quiet it is. But of course, I didn't even have that. I had to dig for this. Grace is my wicked friend from Magnolia. Grace, drop your link. Um, Sherry, I know you have a link. Who else is out here that has links for Facebook pages uh, for your crafting? Go ahead and drop them. I think I saw Kim out here. Go ahead and drop your links. Okay, Teresa has a question. Does Canada have Dollar Trees? Hi, Ginny. And yeah, and don't you love the green color of that heat gun? I love it too. But of course, yeah, I didn't even think I need to heat anything. Silly me. All right, this is going to go on here. I think that's just, it's going to be cute on there. Thank you, Dabby. Put enough glue. Try and center it right away so we don't have a problem. There's Grace's link. Where did you get your cute little house? The house actually is Hobby Lobby. I believe it's $3.99. Now I also showed if you're not if you're not by Hobby Lobby, um, Magnolia. I'm a creator with Magnolia, so I can get you a link for it. Um, we sell these houses and they're already painted this color and it's got the nice wood on uh, They're they're in two packs. So they're really nice and solid shelf sitters. They're awesome. Really um, So if you're not near a Hobby Lobby or um, a place that would have them, that's certainly an option Is that cute? All right, so let's just do, I, there's only a little decorating that I'm gonna do on it. You wanna see the ribbon that I'm using on here? That's why I picked the green. And it's got black polka dots. A second brand of Dollar Tree? Do you know when the Amazing Grace stencil will be back in stock? I don't, Tina. And actually, I'm waiting to do a live until it is back in stock. I have it here, and I've got, um, I want to make it. Um, it's beautiful, right? Grace that's on here thinks it's named after her. <laughs> right, Grace? Grace is so sweet. <laughs> All right, so I've got this. Um, I don't even know where this is from. I'm guessing it's Hobby Lobby. I've had it here a while, but look at those leaves. I'm just gonna pick off a little one. I have this for the stem, but I think I'm gonna do a different kind of stem. So I'm just gonna see if there's a little or a leaf here. Yeah. Going to Hobby Lobby for a house. Hope wood is 50%, but this wood would not be 50% off, Nelda, um, because this is $3.99. It, it has to be over $5.99 or five ninety nine and over, I think, in order to get it. All right, so this is going to be the leaf. Um, I think for the stem, I'm just going to try something. Otherwise, I've got this branch here. I could cut a piece off. And use, but I'm going to try and do just a little fun little stem with this. So I'm going to wrap it a bunch of times. You've seen me make the big pumpkin one. Um, that was that was sort of a funny live when I did the pumpkin stem. It got a little large, let me say. Um, but 
I'm gonna try a stem with this. I just don't, I don't want it too big. I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, so all I did was wrap it around my fingers like I'm gonna do a bowl. Take this, wrap it around just the bottom, and we're gonna tie that off. The tinsel jute stem from watching you, the tiniest jute stem from watching. <laughs> Teresa, yes, you watched me. I had a big limp stem, I can tell you that. <laughs> Uh, it was funny. Do I even have it here? I probably have that behind me here, too. <laughs> it was definitely a limp stem. Okay, I thought the stem would be fun. It's going to be a little, mo little more whimsical. It's not going to look like a, a true stem. But I just thought if you just do that bow and tie it on the bottom. This is going to be my stem. I just think that'll be really cute. Cut some of that off and let's just put a dab of glue. I gotta get, hide some of that. <laughs> Teresa, that was I think the funniest live I think I've had. I couldn't stop laughing during that one. It just, I don't know, it just snowballed. I mean, somebody mentioned something and I started working with that stem. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi, RJ. Well, good to see you too. And pumpkin, something other than pumpkin. And yeah, and that's what I was wondering. I don't know that I saw anybody do apple crafts this weekend, which was, I was a little surprised. Um, all right, we got that. We've got this leaf that we're gonna stick up. So that's gonna go up that way. Um, we might as well put that up right away. I'm just gonna do a little dab of it. And I'm not gonna stick the whole stem down. I just got it on this bottom part. Okay, well, let's do a little bow. We might add, I don't know if we're gonna add raffia or jute yet on here too. I'm good, Teresa, how are you? The stem is perfect, love your imagination. Thank you, Kathy. You remember that live too? It was I have I have that pumpkin here. <laughs> it's the funniest pumpkin here. So actually, so without looking at the stem, isn't that pretty? All right, I did that, but then the stem just got sort of limp and funny when I was trying to work with it. <laughs> well, of course, there's going to be a button. I think. I think we'll see. All right, so I'm, I don't want a big bowl. I just want a little bowl that's gonna go on there. But isn't this really cute? That's why I chose the color green behind there. All right, um, I'm just thinking how many loops I need. See, and I don't think I want, I don't want the loops to come out, I don't think. It was a fun pumpkin to create, Sherry. All right, now I'm just gonna take a piece of jute and you know, really squish this together. Thank you, Mary. I do love the scarecrow. I think he turned out really cute. Thank you, Teresa. I get, I get my inspiration for color, honestly, from seeing things, you know. I just, 
And honestly, the way this green came out was just because apples are green, you know, so I thought, well, that would be sort of fun to add with this. And I saw this ribbon and I just thought it really went good together. Okay, so I'm gonna actually cut this off. We're gonna, okay, I need to trim this up a little bit because I don't want to see all of that. Just a little would be good. Thanks, Vicki. Thank you, Kim. You didn't see the scarecrow, Debbie? I'll show you the scarecrow. It turned out really, really cute. I love my scarecrow. I still want that calendar for my group, please. Cute little boy loving your craft. Isn't it just, it's just so sweet and cute. So we just have a little bit to do yet. Um, Scarecrow. So the Crafty um, Simple Treasures Crafter Circle yesterday, yesterday and Saturday had a, a fall at the farm event and we had 40 minutes to create something. So this was mine. So if you didn't see, I mean, I thought it turned out really cute. The hat was, I thought was really cool, was I used, um, it's just a real thin hat. It was an acorn from uh, Dollar Tree. And I just cut that top off, and that's what this brim is. So I do like how he turned out. I thought he turned out pretty good. So, all right, let's go ahead and finish this. So I think what I'm going to do, I thought I was going to add Rafi on here, but you know what? I'm going to stick with the Jude. You know, I love Jude anyhow. Um, I think we're going to do a little bit of Jude just to make this look a little bit country, a little more, Not, I don't know that this will make it look rustic, but a little bit country. We're going to do a few wraps around here. Now, this is really fuzzy on top here. I'm using a two ply just because it's very thin. I'm gonna do a couple little wraps around here, I think. I don't know, I might not need this. We'll see. I'm not gonna glue it, just in case. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, you'll have to go back and watch it. That was yesterday that I did that. Thank you, Arlene. The apple was from the Dollar Tree. So, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit, of, a little jute bow on there yet. The apple was from the Dollar Tree. So there, you have the two apples, just like the acorns and stuff that you had them like this. And so there's a space for like napkins or something in between. It had like the L-shaped, and you can see how that's ripped off. So we ripped these apples off of that L-shape, and that's how we got the apple. I couldn't find apples anywhere otherwise. All right, let's just see. We'll make a little bowl with this, and that's where a button might come in. All right, my bowls are really easy. Depends how big you want it, how many fingers you use. I just want a little bowl. I'm gonna do three fingers and wrap it around. Start with it down and then wrap it and do it up. Just wanna see if that'll be a good size. Yeah, I think so. Cut it off. A lot of times I'm, I twist my jute, but I think I'm not gonna do it because I didn't do the top. Oh, a bead garland hanger would be really cute too. You're right. And I always wrap the jute around a couple times before I lay it down so you don't have to hold it so tight trying to hold it so it doesn't fall apart. Okay, 
this is where I might untangle a little bit of this. Green is such yummy. It is a cute color, isn't it? All right, let me cut some of this shorter. Actually, I don't know that I need all of that. Okay. So what do you think? Do you like the bow on there with the... Um, the jute, do you like that? And I'll add a button on there. Or do you think I should take the jute off of that bottom? We'll let it up to you guys. I like it either way. I could be swayed either way. Mary, you like it without the jute? Okay, anybody else? Thank you, Sherry. All right, so jute or no jute? When I... I could be swayed either way. So if I do this, let me get a button out. Off, yes, with a button. No, don't like. I like it on. Oh, it's going to be a mixed thing, and you guys are going to be leaving it on, up to me. I almost like it without, and I could still do a button. You guys have really had me confused now. I'd have to almost go with the, ah, oh, look at, there's an apple button. I don't think that really looks good on there though. I think I need a lighter button. So I would probably just do, if I do a button, it would be just a little, a little button like that. You guys have me really, really. You know what? I'm gonna glue this on. We're gonna take pictures with it. We'll do it both ways. Um, honestly, it would for me. Um, either way would be cute. Yeah, we're gonna put put a button. Oh, look at the now. The, here's the apple button. Here's a bigger apple button. I don't like the apple button. So I would do that. Let me put this on here and we'll see. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, let's just put the button on. My other option was raffia, but I, I like because I use jute up here. I would rather do jute if I'm going to do anything. So this would just go on like something I would probably do a little bit crooked like that. Let's see if I can get my big fingers out of the way. I'd maybe even put it a little slanted like that. Cute either way, do da da da, but I sent a text to you. Okay, Marilyn, emoji buttons by the comments are not working. You know, I was trying to search things too, Teresa, to, the, tonight, like search pages. I couldn't find pages. Um, I couldn't, if I clicked on the page, I found it. But if I try searching for it to click on it, I couldn't do that. Maybe the bow a little slanted. This. Yeah, I think if I do this a little slanted, I agree. That's if I do that. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. I I like that. All right, and then we'll do covers up the apple too much, I think. Oh, already? Well, it's on now. But I think it I think it's cute though. 
there we go. Just adds that little bit of a country look to it, right? All right, maybe a stencil in the middle of an apple. That'd be really cute, wouldn't it? I do plan on doing a stenciling project. I was gonna do one today, but um, because we were down and now it's getting too late to do one because I'd have to do it right after this and I don't like doing two right in a row. So should we do random at the kindness drawing? All right, and it's for that calendar. Again, if, if you want to be notified of lives, I try and remember to send this out. Screenshot it if you need to. All right, and then at least I can tell you where I'm going too if you're on my text list. Um, if something like this happens again, because I am trying to do a few other options, so we'll see what happens. So you could slide a pic in behind the Jude. Oh, yes, you could. Oh, would that be cute? Like kids' pictures? Like the little kids' pictures. That's an adorable idea. I love, love that idea. In a classroom, that would be the cutest ever. All right, so let's let's scroll names. That was a great idea. All right, Sandra Adams Vance, please private message me your mailing address and I'll get you some happy mail and please do a random act of kindness for someone. I seen a stencil, don't on felt, cute. Yes, Denzel would be cute on here, though. Thank you, everybody. So thanks a lot for coming on. Like I said, I meant to do this during the day and then maybe do a stencil one tonight. Maybe we'll hop on tomorrow night with a stencil project. So um, we'll get do one of them again. Yeah, I think this would be perfect for a teacher gift. <laughs> that is a great idea. That's a perfect idea. So, yeah, number one teacher, he said, if you have the stencil, we actually have mini, we have um, our mini stencils. We have school ones, and one of them says that, I think. So, I mean, you can check that out. So, all right, y'all have a good night, and we'll see you really soon.